Hey guys, Spotty Hand here, back again. Just a quick one uh, today. Just showing you the jar we inoculated the other day. So um, we're gonna go through the different stages of colonization. So uh, obviously you can see the one that we did the other day is uh, still just looking like brown rice and vermiculite. No little fuzzy patches there. So nothing as yet. That'll be another probably two days and we'll start seeing patches, I think, in that one. Now the next stage you can see here is obviously we've got probably a good half of the jar full of that mycelium there. You can see it sort of just slowly takes over. The next stage will be most of that is mycelium. It's almost closed over to the end. We've got this one here with just a little bubble left that isn't white. Now, here we have a fully, well, almost fully colonized. You can just see a tiny patch there that hasn't gone through yet. Uh, so we'll leave that probably another day or two. Um, a lot of people say to wait till you see pins in the jars before... Uh, actually dunking and rolling them. Uh, I don't do that. To be honest, I wait till all of the mycelium is white. I give it probably two days after that, and then I go to dunk, and sometimes I roll, sometimes I don't. I've been experimenting with that. Uh, but at this stage, once it is basically colonized, uh, leave it a couple of days, dunk, and then get it into your fruiting chamber. Now, fruiting chambers and dunking and rolling, I'm gonna do in a later video. Like I said, just a quick one today, guys. Don't forget that spore competition still up for another week at least. Um, get on it, subscribe, and get in the draw. All right, thanks. That's it from me. Like and subscribe. See you soon.